world shape. Hello! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Amy and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how you can download fonts from Defont.com. Defont.com is basically where you could just download any font for free. There are other websites too, such as Creative Market, um, Creative Fabrica, and Font Bundles. They always send me emails about their Friday freebies, which are awesome. If you want, I can put those links down below. You just want to make sure that when you're downloading off of Defont.com that it is perfectly good for legal use. Your font can only be used for personal use or it can be used for commercial use. Personal use is basically like what the word is. If you want to create a shirt and you just want to use it for yourself or if you want to make a sign in your home, invitations as well. Basically anything that's just for your benefit that you're not making profit off of. So commercial use is really good for, say if you have a business, you don't really like the fonts that are offered on Microsoft Word. I've downloaded probably over like 100 fonts off of defont.com. Most of the ones that I do download, they are public domain and they are free. Because your girl doesn't like to spend a lot of money on fonts. I think the most I've spent on a font was $15. Please don't judge me. It's a beautiful font, I can promise you. <laughs> I'll show you guys in the next clip how you can sort and filter what kind of fonts you want to look for. So let's get started. Okay, so we want to go to defont.com. And then here's the front page, so you can see that there's so many different font choices from fancy to script um, to basic. There's seriously an endless amount of fonts that you can look up. So I'm in basic right now, um, and what's cool about this is you could actually type in words if you want and you can see what it would look like. So if you had a client and they wanted a sign that said I love you, um, you can pick out the, the right font for this. So the main thing is right here. So it says more options. So you want to click on that and click public domain and 100% free so you can filter out the fonts that you want to look up. So submit that and then you'll see that all these fonts are free and they are public domain. So basically when they don't have to say both public domain and free as long as they're 100% free. You just want to click and make sure that the, the creator actually says that it's commercial use and whatever. So scroll down and it says right here, free for personal use and commercial use, which is awesome. And of course, donations always appreciated, which I usually do something since you are downloading their font for free. So you wanna click on the download button and it went into my downloads. So I'm gonna click on that and drag it to my desktop because it's a little bit easier to see. Don't mind the picture of me and my boyfriend. So you wanna double click on that and then a folder pops up and then you wanna click on that folder and you see all of the different um, options that the font comes with. So it comes in bold, bold italic, italic, and regular. So basically to install it, all you have to do is just double click on the font and then click install. And then it'll pop up right in all your, where all your fonts are. And you just have to do that for every single one. So click install. Um, and it's nice. Some fonts will come in different ones like bold and italic. Some fonts will just have a regular one. So, um, and it'll show you on defont.com what are the options. So once you're done with that, um, just make sure that they're all there. So it looks like they are all there. So exit out of that and that too. And then you want to make sure that all of the softwares that you're using are exited. Um, and then you want to reopen them. And then I have a cute little Word document that I have all of the fonts that I've downloaded. So I kind of categorize them into script fonts, into regular fonts, just so it's easier when I have a client and they want to say, hey, I want a basic font. I can just go to my basic fonts right here and see the ones that I've downloaded. So I just add it to here. And then I highlight it and make sure it's in Caviar Dreams, and I'll type it in just to make sure it shows up, and there it is. And then you can also highlight it and click it on here, and then right there it shows you that italics there, that bold's there, um, and you can also do it how you regularly do it if you click up on the toolbar right there and click italicize. 
And that's it. It's that easy, guys. All you have to do is just follow these simple steps and you'll get all those free fonts on your computer for free. All right, and there you have it. I hope you guys at least learned something from my first YouTube video. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more of my YouTube videos. Do you want to do the closing with me? All right, thanks, guys, for watching. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.